Hey football fans, welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we're diving into the controversy surrounding referee Michael Oliver's decisions in the Arsenal vs Manchester City match. In a feisty clash between the two teams, several players found themselves in the referee's book. But it was Manchester City's Mateo Kavakic who stole the spotlight. He received a yellow card for a foul on Arsenal captain Martin Odegaard. However, many fans believed it should have been a straight red card. Former Arsenal star Perry Groves didn't hold back his criticism, claiming that referee Oliver completely bottled it. He believed that Kavakic should have been sent off and that the referee made the wrong decision. The debate intensified as fans compared Kavakic's yellow card to recent red card decisions against Liverpool's Curtis Jones and Chelsea's Malo Gusto. Some fans argued that Kavakic's challenge was even worse than those that resulted in straight red cards. Another ex-Arsenal player, Theo Walcott, who was on punditry duty, agreed with Groves. He believed that Kavakic's tackle on Odegaard deserved a red card without a doubt. Walcott felt that the challenge was dangerous and that Kavakic had no chance of winning the ball. But not everyone agreed. Former Manchester City defender Micah Richards disagreed with the red card suggestion but did think Kavakic should have received a second yellow card for a foul on Declan Rice. Richards believed that the challenge warranted a caution. In the end, the controversial decisions didn't affect the outcome of the match. Arsenal's Gabriel Martinelli scored a late goal, securing a victory for the Gunners and pushing them above the reigning champions in the table. So, what do you think? Was Kavakic lucky to stay on the pitch? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more football news and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Soccer News Center.